the thought of invincibility uh, has to be moderated somehow. I wonder how you reflect on that when you're talking to women who want to be the strong woman that was, you know, touted right back to the 1970s, but there mm-hmm. are some vulnerabilities, aren't there? How do you reflect mm-hmm. on it? Yeah, that's, that's a good question, Neil. It's it's interesting you've mentioned the Helen Reddy song. I was speaking last October at the largest feminist conference in Europe. I was actually launching my new book there called He Chose Porn Over Me, Women Harmed by Men Who Use Porn. And we we had a bit of a, a party, bit of a celebration in the evening with um, more than a 1,000 women. And that song was played. That song was played. It has universal uh, recognition and uh, many, many women in, in the world uh, I think, find something special in in that song. So, yes, we want women to be strong. Definitely we do. And we're all about strengthening women, helping women and girls to stand up for themselves, to enforce boundaries, to say no, to act according to their, their values, their boundaries, their conscience. But as you've pointed to, the global porn industry especially undermines the status of women It is a mammoth dispenser of sexualized violence and misogyny. It is the world's most powerful sexual groomer. In a piece I wrote for the ABC, I called it the world's largest department of education. And so you can't have both. You can't talk about respect for women and at the same time allow the mass dehumanization of women and girls in mainstream pornography because the biggest studies in the world now show that pornography leads to violence against women, right? There's no doubt about this uh, anymore. The jury is not out on this. Uh, The global research, even in the Australia's new National Plan of Action to Address Violence Against Women, cites pornography as a contributing driver of violence against women. And that's like our highest document in in the land. That, That document informs government action to address violence against women. And I'll quote from it. It says, pornography often depicts physical and verbal aggression towards women, male dominance, female submission, and non-consensual behaviors. Greater pornography use is associated with less progressive attitudes about gender roles, with a belief that women are sex objects, and with acceptance of myths about rape. It promotes sexist, misogynistic, and degrading views about women. This is what the research tells us. This is what women tell us. This is what directors of sexual violence centres, including in Queensland, uh, tell us, that they are seeing more porn-inspired injuries in women, including as young as 14 years of age. Girls now expect to be treated badly. They expect to be treated aggressively. The stories girls tell me in schools are getting worse. They're getting worse younger. Routine daily sexual harassment, uh, boys demanding uh, naked images, even threatening to rape them, to rape their sisters, to rape their mothers if they don't send those images. Girls subjected to sexual groaning and moaning noises by boys, including in the schoolyard, on the school bus, at the school camp, in the classroom, and even uh, one of the most distressing stories I heard, even in the school's chapel during daily worship in Christian schools. This is all the outworking, the fruit of porn and porn culture. Girls uh, tell us that boys expect to treat them poorly, to treat them aggressively, uh, to inflict degrading acts on them. Uh, This new UK report that just came out in January, Commissioner, that 79% of young people had encountered violent pornography before the age of 18 and it found that young people 16 to 21 were more likely to assume that girls expect or enjoy sex involving physical aggression than don't and that girls were more likely than boys to have experienced a violent sex act which could be defined as aggressive, coercive or degrading. Now that's a long answer to your question, Neil, but the fact is, uh, yes, of course, we want girls and women to, to be strong, to be invincible, to be to be proud of being women, and to be to be free uh, to pursue their, their their goals in life. However, this uh, mammoth industry is educating uh, boys um, into the opposite idea. 
that, that women and girls are there for them, that they are entitled to them. And so you, you can't have both at the same time. What, what, one, <laughs> one will overtake and beat the other if we don't do something about it. Mm -hmm.